So Kate and I were just talking about the importance of the truck transportation. So you are getting ready to participate in that. We are so grateful because right now we're sitting in the car, the air conditioning, coming out of those vents. And uh, getting to Casual Colorado in about half an hour. Whereas me, as a single missionary, serving in Brazil for 10 years, um, I spent almost a third, a good third of my day, sometimes even half of my day, just getting to the places with the kids. To come to Casual Colorado like we are right now, um, I would have to wait for the bus and then take at least half an hour to the entrance of the road, then start taking this trip, uh, walking uh, another half hour to get there, so that about an hour to get there, and then we'd be with the kids for an hour and a half, two hours, and then an hour back. So we were actually traveling and trying to get there using that time, just as much as time that we were actually with the children. The efficiency of having a vehicle is incredible in being able to double, triple the amount of ministry that we are actually able to do the time with the kids. Imagine for Flavio, imagine for the other leaders what it means, especially working in the rural areas with roads like this, and what it is to be able to have a vehicle and be able to know that you can come. Another uh, awesome thing about having the Combi and having a vehicle is bringing other people with us. Um, we're teaching at Musorepi, and so we're able to go now, and not only that, but bring some of the children from the international school to help us teach English. Also, Flavio goes around on Friday nights and is able to pick up the people who live farther away to be able to bring them to church. Uh, might not look like this when you do your trek for transportation. Hopefully you have an awesome day at Southeast Way Park. Uh, but just know that this is what you are joining in here with your brothers and sisters in solidarity. This is one of the hills. This is actually the hill that I got chased by cows on. I'm still a little, little traumatized about that. But um, yeah, you can see the road going up. That is the hill Kiabu, which is a vegetable, but it sounds a lot like Diablo. Stones currently spends 30% of the um, general budget is spent for transportation. That's upkeep of the vehicles and buying gas. And so by running in the truck for transportation, you free up our general budget to um, be able to be specifically for food and nutrition and education for the children. So as we near the hill Kiabu, here goes Kate honking to make sure there's nobody coming down. Whoa. So a little history about the truck for transportation. Um, it was started by the Heinesons in 2007. A great idea. And then so when I was working with Living Stones in 2011, we brought back the tradition. And since 2011, um, every summer at Southeast Wing Park, we've been walking a little less than four kilometers, which is this trek from the main road to the church in Casual Alcado, um, remembering the trek that Flavio and I used to make every single day, joining in support and solidarity so that we can continue to have the gas and the vehicles to make it to these hard to reach places, which are the places that have the most needs. There is no other program or ministry um, reaching out to people in Casual Claro, so if, if it's not us, it's, it's the end of the line.